Speyer Cathedral is the world's largest Romanesque church that's still standing. The Speyer tax office is nearby. It might not be famous, but it's vital for the state of Rheinland-Pfalz. It collects 800 million euros in annual tax revenue. Frau Schmidt. The officials discuss the day's work. They've mailed out a whopping 120 reminders today. The returns need to be checked. Many taxpayers exploit any loophole they can. Tax dodging isn't really considered a serious crime. The computer alerts them when things don't add up. It's bad if someone is out sick. When older auditors retire, there's no one to replace them. Every auditor has to get through 100 cases each week. This directive is being applied to processing. Auditors must stick to it because the next wave to deal with is on its way. Downtown Kaiserslautern is an hour away by car. Just like in many other towns, construction sites abound as streets are repaired and infrastructure modernized. That costs the federal government and municipalities lots of money. Torsten Schlick of the German Tax Officials Union wonders why governments are spending money on those projects while imposing austerity at tax offices. We desperately need more people. Our numbers show we need 15,000 more to do our jobs. We lose about 30 billion euros every year in value-added tax alone. No country in the world can afford that. Could more tax auditors uncover more cases of tax fraud? In Speyer, they say that might not add up. Having more auditors doesn't necessarily increase revenues. Because, of course, there are honest taxpayers, too. So we can't say that more auditors definitely means more taxes would be collected. Auditing honest returns takes about the same amount of effort as uncovering minor tax fraud, and there are plenty of upright taxpayers. A key finance ministry official visits regularly. The idea is to streamline the process to reduce backlogs caused by lack of staff. The state government favors a completely different approach. Taxpayers should figure what they owe on their own. In Britain, for example, they've long been approaching taxes this way. We'd like to give citizens more responsibility and trust them more. We'll concentrate on cases that are particularly difficult and complex, and we'll sample the other returns randomly to ensure people aren't cheating. It all depends on the auditors. Finding them is like looking for a needle in a haystack. They have to study for three years. At first, every change is exciting. Tax law is very diverse. You always have to keep up with it. There are always revisions, so you're always learning new things, and there's lots of variety. And they're ambitious, too. They want to net the really big tax dodgers. Of course that motivates, but on the foundation of fairness and equity, the primary aim is to ensure consistent taxation. Ultimately, it's not about maximizing tax revenues, but being certain that everyone pays precisely the tax they owe.